Hello, my name is Doug Digital, and in this video, I want to introduce you to one of my new favorite digital marketing tools, and that is Funnelytics. Now, Funnelytics, what is it? Funnelytics is, as you can see here, it's a, a way for you to build and map out your marketing campaigns. Now, I know what you might be thinking. I could do this in Lucidchart, and to a degree, I'd say, yeah, yeah, you could probably do some of this in Lucid Shots. Now there's two, maybe three big caveats. Caveat number one is this is orientated very specifically around marketing funnels. So by that, you will have access to, when we go to icons, things that are going to be exceptionally relevant to you and your organization. So uh, here we've got the pages that you're going to want to map out. So you download pages, opt-ins, order pages, sales pages, surveys, webinars, actions relevant to you, purchase, watch a video, add to cart, complete a form, scrolling so you can you can do event tracking and queue event tracking for, for different actions, add to lists, add to tags if you're using a CRM. All hyper focused around the modern digital marketer in your funnel so that's point number one point number two is that you can actually create forecasts and projections based on what you assume is going to be your conversion rate and your traffic numbers so in this example here um, you can say I've got an acquisition funnel and a churn funnel so I've got my lead capture and then I've got my kind of retention uh, funnel there or, or in this case sorry just a churn funnel now what I could do is I could have a a conversion rate or a click-through rate for every single page on to the next so if I hypothetically sent a hundred thousand visitors to the home page I could watch the forecast go through each step to approximate the level of traffic but then also we can plug in our revenue numbers so if you're an agency or if you're a marketer working for a large organization you could say based on our assumptions when we get to our checkout page and we do our confirmation and upsell we're likely to have generated 20,000 which is going to give us a GP of 40 to 60 percent based on our estimated um, kind of costs of, of advertising cost of goods to get to that point that is extremely exciting and that's one layer that you can't get through your typical lucid charts the other layer which i think is extremely powerful is that you can actually go in and replace these bog standard pieces of content with your real pages and their real traffic numbers so i could go to this home page here i could click on the settings i could drop in the url of of that target page and then what I could also do with the premium version of this is I could go to tracking and I could then drop in a unique tracking ID and I can start pulling through actual metrics so rather than just having a straight bog standard uh, forecast you can get real numbers so you can monitor your entire flow very specifically all from within Funnelytics and then you can tie this to some webhooks and some conversion APIs to actually generate your revenue so a lot of people use this very religiously with click funnels so click funnels will simply squirt out and say with well, this page generate this user generated $99 £99 on this uh, checkout page therefore this funnel has generated £99 and you can work backwards and you can see how much you've put in and how much you're going to get out all in real time incredibly powerful and it's incredibly easy so really really simple so you can do that with your flow so you can visualize how traffic will move through you can get your forecast to get your projected numbers as you can see here your revenue profit and conversion rates but also with numbers you can activate real time now a new feature they've introduced is lead time so obviously if you're working with uh, let's say facebook you can have quite a lengthy lead time that can be staggered if not over days over weeks or even months if you're going from really cold start so lead time means that you can project and predict that that uh, kind of half-life that delay going through the process it's incredibly simple 
So this is this is Funalytics, incredibly simple. Um, I, I I think it's, it's excellent. I think it's something that all marketers should have right now. And then, obviously, you, you you've done this. You want to show your stakeholders. You can do this collaboratively. So you can obviously see a change log. So when we go to our funnel settings, we can see revisions. So we can see kind of what's happened throughout the process. We can we can essentially collaborate in that in that sense. We can add some notes. We've got our tracking script so that we can then monitor the performance as we've discussed of our funnel. And then also, you know what? I just I just fancy a photo. So export as PNG, preparing your PNG file. And then any second now, drum roll please. There we are, example one. Let's just bring that up. Boom, there we are. There's my funnel nice and simple I can see that there I can pass that out to stakeholders and it looks good so I'm gonna pull out but there's a couple of extra things that I think are, are worth keeping in mind when you when you're looking at this so obviously we we've mentioned about our analytics so here's a really nice kind of quick measure here where you can set up your your KPIs so you can measure how many people have come through how much revenue you've generated how much expenses um, you, you've accrued in your your cogs based on your perhaps your campaigns you can see your your profit there extremely powerful so I'm gonna hop back out and then I'm gonna hop back to the main funnelytics so this is your main dashboard when you first open the platform and on the left hand side you'll see funnels which is where we are now two is templates I think this is really useful if a you're a very process driven organization that likes to retest and trial similar uh, funnels or two, if you're an agency and your business model is building funnels, you can quickly cut and paste funnels that you've made earlier as a proof of concept, and it just speeds the process up, particularly with onboarding new clients. So very, very easy here. And you can see I've got a couple here. I can quickly look at the uh, the overall settings there. I can add collaborators if I wanted to. The So that's we've got templates there. Obviously, I haven't got any templates there. A quick point about the funnel section is it operates in uh, workspaces. So if again you're an agency, you can have multiple workspaces specifically for certain clients or perhaps internal workspaces. It's up to you. Now, one thing to note is that with the base free package, you only have access to one of those workspaces. So do keep that in mind. Thirdly is the vault. Uh, th this is my baby. I re isn't like a, someone that wants to learn more about funnels. Uh, the, the vault is essentially a ever-growing log, an ever-growing repository of funnels. Now, what the guys at Funnelytics have done is they've taken um, popular funnels. And let's just have a look here at this digital marketer one. And what they do is they do a really informative video preview of the funnels. And they get, it gives you a lot of context so you can understand how these funnels operate, their moving parts, and understand better how you can apply that to your own business. And what they do is they give you the Funnelytics template so you can just plug and play that funnel. So in this one, I can see a quick overview of it and then I can click Funnelytics template. Then it's in my kind of my workspace click funnels templates which is really handy so if this is some if this funnel utilizes click funnels you can click click funnels templates and you'll get a, a sort of a, a mock-up of their funnels and thirdly is the swipe files good old creative assets so you can really get a flavor for that campaign that funnel and all the elements they've used to put it together so really really valuable there and again it's I think from an educational point of view being able to digest and, and kind of dissect some of these funnels, I think is really, really interesting. And I just think it's, it's very, very cool. Um, so then also I'm gonna flip over to providers. Providers is a third party, well it's not third party, but it's kind of an external thing. Um, useful to know if you want to basically have someone do your funnels for you or support you, that's where you're going to go onto the provider section for funnel hire. And then one, two, three, four, fifth. Uh, that was providers. Sixth, again, playing on the academy notion and that educational th side of things, you're going to get some uh, some some training there in the academy. And then finally, you've got your settings. So, I think it's incredibly valuable. 
And I think for those that are looking for more accountability with their funnels and figuring out how it works, I think, oh, it's, it's, it's incredibly valuable.